Oh. Can you see my nose hairs? I don't know. Not the camera. Should I put that in my video? Well, if you're going to use that at angle, I don't think you have a choice. Now you got fat chin. <laughs> but you can't see it on the video because I cut it off down here. So now you're chinless? For week 106, I am. Or not. At 13.35, Sunday, the 27th of January, 2019, in a text conversation with a person that I am acquainted with, <clears throat> I was talking about the North American Auto Show, and the text I sent said, the North American International Auto, and she said, auto what? And I bit the uh, face slapping emoji, and then the squinting eyes smiling, and then the rolling eyes. And then she sent, just laughing at me, winking, and I said, I'm highly, highly disappointed there are no Ferraris or Lamborghinis. She said, then what kind of show is it? I said, the show formerly known as the biggest auto show in the world. That was a Prince reference. 1550, Wednesday the 30th. My mom says, it's minus five. I said, no, it's negative five. She said... I don't care. I said, if you don't care, then why did you introduce the subject? My dad said she was talking out loud to herself and you just happened to butt in. That was the end of that conversation. At 1520, Friday the 1st of February, Jim says in a text, I believe, yeah, this had to be a text because, yeah, and Jim said, hey, hey, here, you should read your part. <laughs> and I said, what, am I supposed to be alive? And he said, can you guess what he said? No, that's not what you said. He said, maybe. I said, what are the other options? And you said, although talking to a dead man would be interesting. So I said, let's say I am dead, uh, a dead man then. <clears throat> you said, okay, how would you like to, how, how do you, how, how you like that topsoil? I said, are you suggesting I have no casket? To which you replied, Yes. We did not want to waste any money on silly things. Which, honestly, I actually have no problem with. I don't need any money spent on my casket. Just put me in the ground and, okay, this got deep. Or at least six feet deep. And from the lips of the starving comedian, since we're talking about death, <clears throat> he has an EpiPen. His friend gave it to him when he was dying. It was, seemed very important to him that he have it. 